Hey guys, what's up? Long time, no talk. So, I want to apologize for having it be so long since I last posted. I think my last post was honestly uh, when I proposed uh, out at Shell Key. So, today I got an update for y'all. I've been extremely busy. So, of course, new car that happened around the same time as I proposed. Got a Hyundai Kona now. It's pretty nice. Uh, I got a new job or career uh, with the fire department uh, down in the city that I want to be in. So I'm not going to be in Orlando anymore. Uh, hopefully in the next four months I won't be in Orlando anymore at least. Right now I'm commuting. It's about an hour commute. But uh, it's been a lot of work. Uh, just finished orientation. They delayed it for my hiring group because we only had two people get hired in my hiring group. A lot of people didn't pass the polygraph. So we waited for about five months. And then we got to go through our orientation with uh, three other people. So we had a group of five and uh, it was a five week uh, orientation class uh, going through everything. PT every morning at 7 a.m. Uh, I got up to like four miles of running and it uh, wasn't too bad. Uh, it was stressful, yes, but a lot of learning. And now I uh, finally have my probationary book so I can knock that out. I got until December 13th to finish everything in that book. And including a little bit of drive time as well with the engine so a lot of stuff going on uh, still planning the wedding as well um, buying stuff uh, for the wedding uh, buying stuff for something else also which is boom, the house so I can't remember if I mentioned it or not uh, on my YouTube channel but we are uh, building a house so we looked at everything uh, in the market and houses in the area in Florida are all running around the same price as a brand new build. So we figured we might as well build a house, have a warranty on it, and have something that's brand new, rather than something that we might go into and have to do a weed pipe or have an issue with electrical and uh, have to pay that out of pocket. So we decided to go for this. Uh, this place here is uh, an HOA, but the HOA isn't that bad. I think it's like 60 bucks a month, which is amazing. But it's a smaller community. Uh, we have the houses built there. We're gonna be the furthest forward facing property for the time being. And the entrance is over here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, today I just came over and just saw that they actually ran the plumbing and everything. So that is super cool to see the change. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Check it out. So I'm not going to walk on the property or anything. I don't want to mess anything up. But they've laid out the plumbing. I'm guessing that they have electrical as well we're in. But I'm not 100% sure on that. So that is the main bathroom for guests. That one is going to be the third bath that we had put in. This is going to be the master over here. And this is a garage, so that's why we have the big opening here. So that's the garage entrance, which goes into the house. The house looks further back than what I thought it was going to be, but it could just be me uh, not understanding how it's set up. Because they have this pushed pretty forward too. Eh, no, that's probably correct. Kind of want to walk over there, but there's so much vegetation on the sides that I can't really get it. Let me see if I can walk over on uh, this side over here. All right. So staying off of my property. I'm working my way around. Gotta cut this lawn. So yeah, we brought back the house so that we could park more cars in the driveway without it being in the street. And we ended up actually doing it to where, this is all accidental, to where we won't even block the sidewalk when they put the sidewalk in. So even though there's side, no sidewalk here, where there's houses at, they already have the sidewalk. So after they place everything, they put the sidewalk. So we're gonna have a gap here, then we're gonna have a sidewalk there. It's gonna be random, but once when uh, more houses get built, it'll look better. 
Oh yeah, you can see all the piping now. Uh, pretty cool how they run that. Backyard is in the slope. I'm gonna have a lanai out here, a 12 by 12 lanai. It's just gonna be a concrete slab. But I'm gonna end up putting either a pergola or a gazebo on it. I didn't pay for the upgrades that have a enclosed area because it was just, it was too expensive. It was $15,000 to add that. And I was like, no way, man. I can get a pergola for like a thousand bucks and put it in myself, just bolt it to the concrete and it'll look good. So I'm still going back and forth between if I want a, a steel frame pergola or if I want to go a little bit more pricey and do like a wood frame pergola. So just trying to figure it out. No, the backyard still looks pretty big. It was just throwing me off as far as for that uh, being pushed back so much. But yeah, I should have 40 feet or 45 feet in the backyard deep and it's 70 feet wide. Oh, host picket. I see my first host picket. I think there's gonna be one here and then there's supposed to be one up in the front as well, I believe. Yeah, this is gonna be, no, this is the guest bathroom here, isn't it? Yeah, this is gonna be the guest bathroom here. Over here is the actual uh, bathroom that we had added. Uh, we had the option of a four bed, two bath or a four bed, three bath. And we chose the, the upgraded three bath. And then over there is gonna be the master bath with the master bedroom. I'm hoping to get Braxton in the back bedroom where he'll have the guest bath for himself for a while, but he will have also the view of the pond. So the pond is gonna be a real nice view and I think he'll really like that bedroom. And then we'll have the nursery. We, we don't have a kid yet, planning in the future. The nursery is gonna be on the other side of the guest bathroom going to be the middle bedroom and then depending on if it's a boy or a girl they'll either stay there or they'll move over to the front uh, bedroom and keep that as a nursery for the next kid so three total <laughs> but uh that was my plan so depending on if it's a boy or a girl if it's a girl then they'll move up into the front one so they'll have their privacy with their own uh bathroom and everything and uh yeah it'll be pretty cool so that way we're not moving them around a lot. I think Braxton would really like the privacy of having that and the view of having this. So. And if it's a girl, we want them to have their own bathroom is why we're doing it. So they're not gonna have the guest one. They're gonna have the Jack and Jill that we're gonna, we're gonna block one of the entryways in so it's not a Jack and Jill anymore. Super cool though. I gotta take some pictures. I guess that flag is indicating where our property ends. Which now I can actually work my way down some more. Now that they got rid of this hill. Because before we couldn't go past it. So our property does go past the, the hill a little ways. About get three feet past it. Just know I'm gonna have stickies all over me. So we do have a pond here, which is super clean. It's ridiculous how clean this water is. And it looks like it's pretty deep too. So the water never really goes higher than this from what I've noticed. It's pretty well controlled. I feel like in the map it shows water is supposed to be here as well. So I feel like once when everything is done, the water level may raise some, but I feel like that was just wishful thinking on their part was to have that filled as well for the canal. But who knows, maybe in the future. But super clear, there's something in there that wants to get dragged out in there. But yeah, I'll get the little raft that I bought for accident and pull out trash. <laughs> I won't even care. I'm like, I paid for this property. I want the I wanna be able to access my pond. Yeah, crystal clear water though, it's beautiful. Beautifully maintained. Incline to get down to it. 
equipment to the house. So we're not gonna have any flooding issues. So the 12 by 12, Lanai is gonna go back here. I got plenty of room in the backyard to where I wanna be able to have like family gatherings and stuff. I wanna have all the holidays at my place, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, guys, I just wanna show you what I've been up to. I apologize for uh, being gone for so long. I finally have an app that I can use on my phone to edit videos how I like to again. So I'm still getting used to it. So videos are still gonna be delayed and whatnot as far as when I have ideas for it. This video here, I'll try and edit it either today or tomorrow and put it on up. But yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures before I leave and yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing week. And until next time, peace. See you guys.